Everybody, boxing fans, I'm Miguel Maravilla. It is Thursday, June 25th, 2020. We have some boxing tonight on ESPN from the bubble at the MGM Grand. As Australia's Jason Maloney with a record of 21 and 17 knockouts takes on Leonardo Baez with a record of 18 to 9 knockouts in the 10 round bantamweight main event. The co feature bout. Another solid matchup. We have Abram Nova, 18 and 0, 14 knockouts versus Avery Sparrow, 10 and 1 with three knockouts. That is a 10 rounder in the junior lightweight division. Before we get to the predictions and everything, here is the undercard. We begin with the heavyweights as Waldo Cortes Acosta with a record of 5 and 2. Takes on Kingsley Ebe with a record of 3-1. and one. These heavyweights, well, expect, expect some slow punching and a lot of clinching. As this perhaps goes the distance. Walter Waits, Raymond Yanong, 10-5-1. Will take on Clay Burns. With a record of 9, 7, and 2. Even matchup. Both evenly uh, identical with the almost same number of bouts. As Yanong has 16 bouts. Burns with 18. This can also... Go the distance. Then we have welterweight Vlad Panin with a record of 7-1. and one, Taking on Benjamin Whitaker. Whitaker 13-3. This is a good matchup in the welterweight division. This one is expected to also be a solid match on this is six rounds puerto rican prospect orlando gonzalez with a record 14 and 0 he'll be taking on luis porosco with a record of 15 and 2. this also has the makings of a co-feature however the prospect gonzalez ruiz is expected to be victorious tonight. Orlando Zurdo de Ores Gonzalez 14 and 0 and 10 knockouts. And Porosco 15 and 2 with 8 knockouts. This is a 8 rounder in the junior lightweight division. I expect the Puerto Rican prospect to score a stoppage. The co-feature, junior lightweight, Abram Nova, 18-0, 14 knockouts, taking on Avery Sparrow, Philadelphia, 10-1 with three knockouts. This is a good co-feature. Sparrow, a very slick boxer. Nova, a big puncher. He's expected to go out there. And show what he has. Nova is expected to win this one. Sparrow. Some of you have heard the name Avery Sparrow. He is advised or managed by Raymond Usher. Usher Raymond, whatever you call whatever he calls himself nowadays. Sparrow was slated to take on ryan garcia last year in september but was arrested the day of the weigh-in on a warrant and in the main event australia's jason maloney with a record of 20 and 1 17 knockouts takes on Mexico's Leonardo Baez with a record of 18, 2, and 9 knockouts. This, 10 rounds in the bantamweight division. 
Maloney himself came up short in a world title shot as he lost a close decision to Emmanuel Rodriguez. Since then, he has knocked out his three opponents. As for Baez out of Mexicali, he's won six in a row, including a shutout over former interim world champion Moises Flores. Another solid matchup in the main event. This this has the makings. We'll probably see the same thing we saw this past weekend as his brother Andrew Maloney was also making his U.S. debut. This should be a good matchup. I think I'm going to go with Baez on this one. I think Maloney... Uh, Probably not in it. I mean, his brother was just defeated. The whole purpose of making your U.S. debut is to get off with the crowd, and that wasn't the case this past weekend. There was no Australian fans in attendance, and I don't think this will be the case tonight. So expect Baez to take this one. I myself might have to place a wager as... On the last predictions, I actually picked Andrew Maloney to defeat Joshua Frankel. And it wasn't until after I made the predictions, I noticed on the betting lines, I, I looked at the betting lines and I just said to myself, wow, that's a pretty good bet. Then I realized, oh, Frankel has Robert Garcia in his corner. Now, had I gathered all that and everything, definitely my my pick on record would have definitely been Joshua Franco. But hey, I did place the wager. I did win. So it is what it is. So there you have it. Predictions for tonight. I'm going with Baez. I'm going with Nova. And the rest of the fights, well, we also have Orlando Gonzalez. I, I got him winning by stoppage. As far as the other three fights... Either's a toss-up. Enjoy the fights tonight.